Hello everyone. I hope you're all having a wonderful day. Welcome to today's webinar titled BricsCAD, Bridging the Gap Between CAD and GIS. GIS used to be a very advanced product until recently that people now use apps like Google Maps more that the standard GIS philosophies are now more intuitively understood. In this webinar, we will explore how the new and enhanced BricsCAD software is uniquely positioned to cater to the needs of CAD users who require access to GIS data and seek to perform basic editing tasks. My name is Ava Chu Wan, and I am a civil engineer with over seven years of experience in the AEC industry before joining Brixis. I'm excited to conduct this webinar and show you the impressive ability of BricsCAD in doing a round-trip GIS workflow. We will leave some time at the end for questions, so please type in any queries you have during this session, and we will try to cover them at the end. Don't worry, in case we do not have enough time to address them today, we will gather all your queries and send up a follow-up email afterwards. Without further ado, let's begin. So some of you may be wondering, what exactly is the goal here? What we want to do is to harness the key features of CAD and GIS to do your work and get the job done. So what are those features? For CAD, of course we have the familiar CAD environment where it makes it easy for us to do our design details and edit geometry. While on the other side, we have GIS where your data contains rich, intelligent information available for the user. That is where BixCAD comes in. We are enabling the best of both worlds by giving users access to both in a single platform solution. Having said this, what are the key benefits of using BricsCAD? First, you no longer need to dumb down your GIS data. We understand that when a GIS schema is exported to a CAD platform, which is normally in a DXF file format, we only have one layer, so the data becomes limited. What we are doing here is enabling the transfer of the whole GIS schema. And because we are enabling access to GIS data for CAD users, this also eliminates your need to purchase or learn a new software, which not only saves money, but also your precious time. And to maintain the rich information your GIS data carries wherever it was created, BricsCAD enables you to read and edit GIS object data created from legacy CAD software. GIS is traditionally conceptual and used for planning as opposed to construction since it isn't always survey accurate. Like, for example, pipes are drawn in road center line when in reality, it is probably more on the sides of the road. We can make use of the impressive CAD capabilities like the ease of editing your geometry to improve your data accuracy. And then, using transparent commands, you can correct these and offer it back to the GIS department. As you probably already know, transparent commands give you the ability to enter data in common civil survey formats like bearing and distance or azimuth and distance directly into CAD commands. No need to convert. And aside from providing many benefits and functionalities, BricsCAD also offers flexible licensing. We offer perpetual and subscription, as well as single, volume, and network licensing. But before that, who is Brixis and what is BricsCAD? Brixis provides a range of modern mainstream and mechanical CAD, BIM, and collaboration products, which we offer under the brands of BricsCAD and 24-7. The organizations who use our products are spread throughout the world and operate in many different industry sectors, primarily in the building, construction, and manufacturing markets. Our approach is based on four guiding principles. Being customer-focused, innovative, cost-effective, and also providing a flexible approach to the way our products can be used, allowing our customers the freedom to work the way they need to and want to. Brixis is part of Hexagon AB, 
a 4.35 billion euro revenue technology group. We have over 300,000 satisfied active users in over 110 countries throughout the world. We were established 20 years ago in Ghent, Belgium, which remains our global headquarters. We have a total of eight offices throughout the world with over 300 employees. And we are supported by an extensive network of specialist partners and resellers. So where are those eight offices across the world? Well, with our global headquarters in Ghent, Belgium, we also have regional headquarters in Singapore, where I am currently seated, to support the Asia-Pacific area. We have California for the U.S. and Canada, and Mexico City for Latin America. We also have multiple development centers, each with specific specialized expertise. And there is commercial support in many other places denoted by the yellow dots. And of course, we have a huge network of partners found throughout the world offering personalized local support to all of our customers wherever they may be located. So one of our key focus area is the AEC industry, serving sectors such as architecture and construction, and also civil engineering. Here you see just a small sample of our satisfied customers in those markets who have chosen Brixis products to help them design and construct buildings and infrastructure faster and more effectively. Our product family can be separated into two distinct categories, 2D and 3D design, construction and fabrication solutions, and a cloud collaboration solution. And the interesting thing about this is that it is in one platform and everything is in DWG format. BricsCAD, our flagship offering, consists of two license levels. BricsCAD Lite, which is more for the 2D drafting capabilities, and BricsCAD Pro, which includes 3D drafting, parametric modeling, civil, and point clouds. We also have BricsCAD BIM and mechanical solutions. One thing to note is that since it is an all-in-one platform, you don't have to worry about switching from one platform to the other. All functionalities of Lite will be in Pro, and BIM has all of Pro and Lite. The same goes for mechanical, which is more for the manufacturing industry. And if you want the full capabilities, BricsCAD Ultimate brings together all the functions of BricsCAD Pro, BIM, and Mechanical in one single DWG-based environment. This means that it is uniquely placed to offer the perfect single platform solution for those whose needs span the manufacturing and building worlds, such as building product manufacturers. And on the other side of our product portfolio, Brixis 24-7 is our cloud collaboration solution for pre-construction planning and execution. It is a simple yet powerful solution designed to connect all project stakeholders through document management, project management, and a common data environment. It is directly integrated with BricsCAD, meaning you can access your model from the cloud directly without leaving the BricsCAD platform. Today, we will be focusing on the GIS capabilities of BricsCAD, which starts from the pro level. BricsCAD is a great product by itself, but also, it is a highly compatible platform that enables people to work according to their needs. We can work with reality capture or point clouds, civil data, and GIS data. We can create various as builds, visualizations, permits, and we can also cater to those who want to create initial designs. We can create conceptual designs quickly and interactively. Today, let's focus on how we can use BricsCAD to work with our GIS data. But before we go to the demo workflow, let's take a look at the key features of BricsCAD. These are the features that are readily available on BricsCAD. First, the GIS toolkit is in the same workspace as the CAD base. You can import and export shape files in just one click. You can add, edit, or delete GIS data in a consolidated table, which makes the editing process easier. You can also filter the GIS fielder attributes. And we also have transparent commands, which is also known as coordinate geometry input in other software. 
BricsCAD also enables you to read, write, or change GIS object data created in Math 3D and Civil 3D. Of course, you also have the ability to attach raster images. And some other things that we can do with a third-party application, such as Spatial Manager sitting on top of BricsCAD. We can do topology analysis, thematic maps, queries, and we can also enable ArcGIS connection. With this, you will see that BricsCAD is sufficient for what you need to get the job done. So, in any case that you receive a file that has object data in it, because of BricsCAD's excellent data interoperability, you can convert your object data in a single move. So we will start with a drawing that contains a sewer network with sewer lines as polylines and line segments, and sewer structures displayed as blocks. Both these lines have blocks and object data attached to them, coming from either AutoCAD Map 3D or Civil 3D. All you have to do is click the Convert to Object Data button from the GIS tab in the Civil Explorer, and in one click, we have converted the object data to a BricsCAD GIS feature. And you can now easily see all the GIS data attached to these features in this attribute table and can now use it to work with this data like how you normally would. So some of the common workflows that you can do in BricsCAD. First, you can create from scratch or you can also import your shapefile and bring that over to BricsCAD. Then you can manage your data from there. Perhaps use it as a backdrop to do your work, or you can also use it to add and edit geometry like polylines representing streets, waterways, and so on. You can also add and edit your GIS layer, or even add and edit your GIS attributes. And of course, you can also filter your GIS data. And once you are done with your work, you can then export it out and offer it back to the GIS department. Now let's do some of those common CAD GIS workflows on BricsCAD. When you open BricsCAD, the first thing you will notice as a CAD software user is its familiar interface. BricsCAD features a ribbon interface with different tabs and panels such as Properties panel and Layers panel along with the command line interface. You will also find familiar toggles like eSnap and S-Track available in the status bar. BricsCAD is command compatible, which makes it ideal for long-time CAD users. Moreover, BricsCAD offers powerful tools for GIS data management. Incorporating company standards for GIS layer colors can greatly enhance data organization. You can easily set this up within your drawing, similar to what I have done here. And through the GIS tab in the Civil Explorer, we can efficiently import shape files, create a new GIS layer, and convert from object data with just one click. So I'll start off with importing shape files, and later on, I will show you how easy it is to create your GIS layer from scratch. For today, I want to bring in the roads, railways, buildings, and waterways of central Singapore. Once we have imported these shapefiles, you will be directed to the GIS import window where you can review information about your schema like the GIS layer, source coordinate system, which in this case is Singapore Grid Curtail 1968, and layer types. You also have the option to assign the data to specific drawing layers. For example, for the roads, I have the option to assign to an existing layer, a new layer, or a layer from data fields. So I'm going to do layer from data field and then by type. I can also specify the import area, but let's just import it all for today. As you can see, the data comes in as expected and color assignments have been applied as well. The first thing that I tend to do is to assign a GIS coordinate system to ensure that whatever changes I do will align with the shapefile that I imported. And 
just like our source coordinate system earlier, I will assign Singapore grid. Hit OK and done. What I'll now do is I will turn off the other layers and inspect the roads layer further. When we click on any of these lines and go to the properties panel, you get to see the GIS data attached to them. You have the GIS layer, name, type, and some other information available here. Now let's take a look at another one. You can see that the GIS data is accurately displayed in your properties. As we can see, this is Marina Bay Street Circuit and it is a raceway. The GIS tab in the Civil Explorer provides access to the attribute table which consolidates information like names, types, maximum speed, and more. In short, information we would expect from a GIS data. So it is similar to the information we saw in the properties panel, but here it gives you access to the data in that layer all at the same time. You can also rearrange the table by dragging the columns and you can control the co displayed columns through the column layout dialog box. So maybe I don't need the ref column and I think that it is not relevant to me, so I can just uncheck that. And once we hit apply, you can see that it has now been excluded on the table. Now, not only does the attribute table consolidate information, it also has filtering options. So if you need to sort your data or search through it, don't worry, BricsCAD has got you covered. Most GIS data have hundreds or even thousands of information in them. So this is an incredibly useful feature. It actually works in an if and as well as an if or function. So let's try it out. Let's say I want to double check the information I have in here. In Singapore, generally, the speed limit ranges from 30 to 90 kilometers per hour. So anything beyond that would most likely be wrong. With the filtering option, I can check if there is any information that is off and quickly correct that. Now let's explore a situation where there is a new water pipe construction project that you or your team is involved in, and you are tasked to integrate that into your existing GIS data. We have the option to create custom schemas or create a GIS layer from scratch. We can simply define a name, say water for water pipes, and a geometry type, and proceed to add as many fields as you want. In this case, we want to add the depth by meter, and then we can also add perhaps material, and last but not the least, we can add thickness or diameter in millimeter. Then let's just hit the type. Once completed, you will have your new GIS layer. Now let's add GIS features to it. Assume that the new pipe construction spans from around here to here and here to here. Of course, you can add more as per your actual data, but this should be enough for demo purposes. Now going back to our table, we will add these new water pipes in with the corresponding data. I'm just going to assume some numbers to input in here for today. Let's say depth is 1.2, material is PVC, and um, diameter is to be 150 millimeters. And as easy as that, you see that you have created your new GIS layer with attributes. It is such a simple process to follow that almost, if not everyone, can do it too. Now let's look at a scenario where we have a shape file for an existing drainage pipe network and proceed to bring that in. However, we know that the coordinates aren't totally accurate. So to fix that inaccuracy of the location, we have got the surveyor to work out exactly what bearing and distance it is from a certain control point. So I'll bring that layer in as well. I'll switch out the color to a more obvious color like cyan so that we can see it easier. And now we can see that the control points are represented by these triangles. Here are the control points that were established by the surveyor. 
we have observed that the first two manholes has a bearing of north 47 degrees 59 minutes east with a distance of 265.97 meters and north 22 degrees 55 minutes west with a distance of 93.65 meters from that station respectively. So let's go ahead and compare the locations from the surveyor with a shapefile that we have. We can use transparent commands to create a line. And by the way, this line that I am actually drawing is just a piece of temporary geometry just for reference purposes. Now let's draw out our first line using bearing and distance. So northeast and then put in the angle 47 degrees 59 minutes with a distance of 265.97 and enter. Now let's do the second line. Bearing in distance once again and northwest this time with 22 degrees and 55 minutes with a distance of 93.65 meters. Once we're done, you will see that the first pipe has a correct location. However, the second one is a little off. We can adjust the pipe using grip edits to match it. Simply just hold it like you normally would and you can just drag, drag it on there. And then we can proceed to delete the temporary lines. Once the adjustments are complete, we can export the shapefile with the corrected coordinates and offer it to the GIS department for them to do their further work on it. Let's give it a name of maybe pipes underscore corrected and hit save. So just to show you that our shapefile has been successfully exported, when I click import, you will see that our layer is now reflected here too. And there you have it folks, a straightforward process to streamline your workflow. So to summarize what we have seen today, we saw how BricsCAD simplifies the process of importing shapefiles. Moreover, we were also able to manage the GIS schemas and harness the CAD capabilities to streamline your GIS tasks, creating a more practical and efficient workflow. And as a little bit of bonus, in terms of having the CAD guys and GIS guys interact, we can always use the CAD systems to get the survey accurate coordinates and offer it back to the GIS guys for them to process. So, if what we have shown today is what you need to do with your GIS data, then BricsCAD is definitely for you. So again, today we have seen that you don't need to convert your GIS file types to CAD type. You don't need to learn or purchase a new GIS software. You can also use BricsCAD to read and edit GIS object data created from legacy CAD software. BricsCAD also allows you to continue using CAD in doing your GIS work. And with the use of transparent commands, you don't need to convert your data from common civil survey formats. And of course, let us not forget, aside from providing the many benefits and functionalities, BricsCAD also offers flexible licensing. Again, we offer perpetual and subscription, as well as single, volume, and network licensing. It really depends on what your team needs. With that, I would like to thank you for tuning in to today's webinar. I hope you find this webinar to be insightful, and I hope I was able to show you how BricsCAD provides a different and unique approach to helping you, our customers, especially those in the CAD environment, who requires access to GIS data. I will now go through some of the questions, or if you think of a question afterwards, please feel free to let us know. In case you would want us to do a demo or presentation with you, do reach out to us and we will be happy to do a session for you as well. Again, thank you everyone for your time today and enjoy the rest of your day.